Hey, what's up guys? So this is my Epson Home Cinema 2150. I don't know if you guys remember this uh, projector. Let me tell you, I know it's not 4K. I know that it's not HDR, but let me tell you, the brightness on this Home Cinema 2150 and the way it runs, the way when you turn it on, you don't have to wait for that wheel on the DLP to spin, that ridiculous color wheel. The 3 LCD technology starts right away, man. It's just so much better. Here, I just want to kind of give you some idea on how it looks. Uh, I got a bunch of lights behind me, and it, look how bright it is, dude. Okay, let's turn off some lights. Hold on. Let me turn off this light right here. Give me one second. Look at that. This is 200 inches. Look at my 75-inch... <laughs> my 75-inch Vizia. It's like nowhere to be found. So this is 200 inches right now from my home cinema 2150. And uh, look at that lamp. So listen, man, home cinema 2150, Epson. Guys, I never had any issues with this since 20, early 2017. 2017, 2018, 2019, three, uh, what? Two, two and a half years, all right, two and a half years. Haven't had any issues. Yes, you have to change the filter, clean the filter. Big deal. Very easy to do. Okay. Uh, filters right here. This is where your filter is. You just pull this uh, tray out and you clean it, put it back, and that's it. I'll be honest with you guys. I'll be honest with you. I prefer 3LCD technology better than uh, DLP. D DLP, color wheel... Uh, first of all, it, it drains so much power out of the lamp. It's squeezing so much power out of the lamp. And it's just taking all that juice from your lamp. And that's why your lamp constantly needs to be changed. With a 3 LCD technology, you're not squeezing that much out of your lamp. Okay, because you're using a 3 LCD technology. All right, liquid crystal display. And you don't have any color color wheel that needs to spin to give you that rainbow effect uh i prefer let me tell you from now, dude from now on i don't care what anybody says uh to me it would be only two ways three lcd or laser when it comes to projectors i would say three lcd technology or laser dude this thing turns off and on so quick so fast you don't have to wait for any stupid color wheel to be spinning for like 60 seconds or 40 seconds um three lcd technology for me personally or laser why because you turn on the the laser projector starts right away three lcd starts right away okay so let's do some uh, google stadia let's go check it out a little bit shall we there's my stadia right here my stadia controller okay so let's go ahead, let's do this, shall we? Here we go. This is ridiculous, 200 inches. All right, let's click. Yeah, okay. Say the, uh, here we go, boom. Yeah, just guys, listen, um, I'm being honest with you because I, I have both DLP and three LCD technology projectors. I'm pretty sure if you ask other people out there, they're gonna tell you the same thing, man. They're gonna tell you that uh, uh, DLP has been a pain in the neck. There's always problems, there's always issues, and you have to wait for the stupid wheel to, to keep spinning. Um, I think DLP is gonna die off in the future. I think laser is gonna take over. And a three LCD, obviously, uh, it's gonna be around, sure. But, uh, yeah, that's the whole idea, dude. You, when you turn on the projector, you don't want to wait for the stupid wheel to be spinning. You just want to be phew, ready to go. And I think with 3 LCD technology, in my opinion, is definitely the best choice. Or laser. Of course, laser is more expensive. But, hey, you, you get what you pay for. DLP, honestly, I'm not really... Right now, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm done and over with DLP. You can kiss my booty with the DLP, all right? All right, so we're going to play some NBA 2K20 right now. I'm going to jump into that. Yeah, dude, 3 LCD technology. Hell yeah. Forget about... Uh, pfft. 
DLP digital light projector man three LCD liquid crystal display 100% man I'm telling you right now never had any issues this is like my second Epson home cinema three LCD technology projector never had an issue dude all you got to do is just change your filter I think I did a video on how to change a filter I can show you how to do that again it's not a big deal um, if you guys want to so I'm just being honest with you guys. I, listen, I'm never going to give you a shitty advice. I'm only going to give you the best advice. I'm just telling you right now, forget about the DLP. You're going to have nothing but problems with DLP. Mark my words, you will have nothing but problems with DLP projector. Just letting you know. All right, let's go ahead and let's play. And the reason I have to be so far away from, I'm like, dude, I'm like 10 feet away. This is 200 inches. Guys, you have no idea how big 200 inches is. Dude, it takes my entire freaking room here. Look at the ceiling. Look at this. Ridiculous. And I'm like, actually, more than 10 feet. Dude, I'm like 14 feet away, man. Dude, I'm way all the way out to the door, man. All right, let's do a quick play. There's nothing wrong with the three. Uh, listen, three LCD gets bright enough. It's a 1500 nits. Dude, this thing gets up to 1500 nits. I mean, 1500 lumens. I'm sorry. 1500 lumens uh, brightness. And it's pretty darn good. All right. There we go. Right here. Look at this. Google Stadium, man. I know this is 1080p. I get it. Whatever. But, uh, hey, who cares? Looks great. Runs great. Here we go. And the player introductions are wrapped up. The starting fives for both teams. As we're just about ready to get this one started. Let me just fix my exposure here so you guys can see it better. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. For the latest presentation of our NBA Looks great, man. Hold on. Here we go. That's better. This is ridiculous, dude. Dude, dude. Uh, <laughs> Google Stadium, the 200 inch uh, projector, man. It's ridiculous. Playing NBA, dude, on the 200 inch. Hell yeah, dude. I think I've done uh, done some videos on uh, Epson Home Cinema 2150. I've done Saving Private Ryan. I've done Jurassic Park. A bunch of different other movies. Uh, this is just ridiculous, man. Watching 200-inch uh, projector, watching a movie in 200-inch projector is just ridiculous, man. Now, having uh, IMAX enhanced on a 200-inch projector, now, that's what we're talking about. Looks great. Runs great. Hold on a second. I need to go ahead and just uh, check something out really quick here. Hold on. Let me see something. Uh, I want to see the menu. What type of settings am I using here? Um, there's the image enhancement. Guys, let me tell you something. When it comes to the projector... I wouldn't use any filters, dude. I would stay away from the filters. Forget about the filters. I wouldn't use any filters when it comes to projector. Just forget about the filters. You know, like the, the image enhancement and all this other crap. Dude, you don't need that stuff. You already got 200 inches. You already got giant freaking screen. Uh, you don't need that stuff, man. All right? Now, don't get me wrong. Of course... BenQ DLP has a nice color reproduction. Excellent color accuracy. I get that, sure. But, but, you constantly have to deal with that stupid nonsense, that, that, that freaking wheel, and that wheel sometimes shuts off due to the fact that it's squeezing the life out of your lamp. Okay, and it's also taking a lot of juice. Dude, that thing is going to eat your electrical bill. 3 LCD, 
it doesn't need that much power, all right? So, well, there you go, Google Stadia, man. Google Stadia right here on the 200-inch screen. You want to get a little bit closer? Sure. You want to see? I hope this gives you some idea how ridiculous the 200-inch is. All right. Okay, it's just ridiculous. Look, look, look at my 55 inch TV. It looks like a 27 inch monitor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is just ridiculous, man. Oh, uh, man. Look at all the way to the ceiling from one end to the other. Boom. It looks great. Look, there's nothing wrong with it, man. I know a lot of people have been taking a dump, taking a crap on three LCDs. Like, dude. I have no issues with 3 LCD. Dude, it looks great. Just looks, it's fine. Dude, it's super fine to me. I have no issues with it. All right, let's go jump to another game. Let's go jump to uh, a Red Dead Redemption 2. All right, here we go. Red Dead Redemption 2. This is ridiculous, dude. Gee, I'm like uh, 14 and a half feet away. You have to, dude, because you you can you can't sit too close to a 200 inch man. Uh, trust me, dude. You, you, first of all, you, you're gonna have a migraine. You're gonna have a headache. Your 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 head's gonna be going left and right, left and right. Okay. Uh, but let me tell you, it's just it's ridiculous gaming on or or watching movies on a 200 inch. Look, Red Dead Redemption 2, all the way to the ceiling. Jesus Christ. My Listen, my camera is not doing a jack shit. If you guys, if you guys walked into this room, you would say, what the heck is this shit? <laughs> you guys would laugh your ass off. Um, but hey, why not, dude? Why not? So, listen, man, 3 LCD. 3 LCD uh, projector. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to do some uh, settings on it, some picture settings on it. And yes, you can Google Stadia on it. It works. I tested Google Stadia on every laptop, on every desktop computer that I have through a Chrome browser. I connected to my capture card. I've tested it on the OLED. I've tested it on the QLED. I've tested it on the monitor. i tested it on the bunch of different things and yes i'm now testing it on, on the two projectors as well and there you go i mean oh yeah dude this looks great man i'm not wrong with it no latency no not man it's all good oh let me just adjust my uh i need to adjust my exposure all right let me just get the exposure right i know i have that one light down there but it's not wrong with it man it's not wrong with it Looks good. And it's smooth. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Just to kind of give you some reference point. Look at this nonsense, man. This is ridiculous. It feels like you are inside a game, dude. It feels like you are inside a game. And look. <laughs> I know some people are going to say this is ridiculous, dude. Now I have to turn off all the lights. Obviously, uh, that's the uh, that's the thing. That's the ideal thing to do here. You know, to turn off all your lights to truly get that effect. Um, let me uh, adjust my exposure here on the camera. I'm look. I'm doing my best here to try to bring this to you guys to give you uh, the best possible viewing angle. You have to remember, it's really difficult to to film. You know, 200 inches screen uh, on a projector. It's just ridiculous, man. But look, man, 3 LCD technology, like I said, there's not wrong with it. I, I'm i using it right now. It looks good on Google Stadia. Obviously, the better the quality, uh, bit rate, the better. What is this? Somebody died here? Dude, what the fuck? What is this? No. Oh, just a stone my bad oh my goodness this is ridiculous <laughs> let me switch to uh, daylight on the game 
All right, so let's go. We're going to sleep till the morning. I want to do this during the daylight, you know, during the day. Look at my 75-inch, man. It's like looks like a, a... Dude, everything looks like crap C compared to 200-inch, man. It's just... It's like a Godzilla, dude. Come on, stand up, dude. Here we go. I mean, it's nice. Just remember, guys... It's difficult for me to do this with with the camera, okay? It's difficult to depict. It's difficult for camera to depict how beautiful this looks. Uh, you have to see it in person, you know. Just like anything else, you got to see it in person, dude. You cannot just uh, judge it by a video, okay? But here I am. Even on a projector, on a big giant projector, digital foundry, 200 inch projector. Here I am. I don't see any pixelations. I don't see any soft imagery the way you guys are seeing. Come on, guys. Here I am. I got the best magnifying glass, 200 inch zoom magnifying glass. Guess what? Nothing. I don't see what you guys are seeing. Okay. Looks great, man. There you go. We're showing some more love to Google Stadia, man. We're going to make Google Stadia the best place to play, period. There you go. Well, there you have it, man. Listen, guys. Like I said, in my opinion, again, I'm not here to tell you what to buy. It's your money. Buy whatever you want to buy. Do whatever you want to do with your money. I'm simply letting you know, coming from a guy who tried all of these different projectors, DLP, uh, first of all, it's too slow to turn it on. It takes forever for the wheel to turn. Second, uh, it drains the power. It's going to drain your electrical bill because it's using that lamp and it's spinning that color wheel Yes, it gives you a nice color gamut reproduction. However, I think 3 LCD, it's more convenient, in my opinion. But that's, that's just my opinion, okay? Well, there you have it. Well, there you have it, fellas. Fellas, let's take a screenshot here. This is a great screenshot, man. Hell yeah. Stadia. There you go, Digital Foundry. Stadia. 200 inches I'm waiting Richard I'm waiting for you guys to connect Google Stadia to a 200 inch projector I'm waiting I'm waiting I'm waiting I mean it shouldn't be difficult for you guys to afford or maybe to ask your sponsor to send you one to try it out here actually let's do a, a digital foundry right here digital foundry this this is terrible. I can't see nothing. I can't see nothing. Everything looks terrible. Everything looks terrible, Digital Foundry. I can't tell the stone from the brown stone to the light white stone to the red stone to the this stone. I can't tell the green from the red, the red from the blue. I can't tell a difference from anything. Digital magnifying glass foundry. Come on, come on, guys. Really? Look at this. This is from a cloud data center. Cloud data center. All right? All right. I think I rest my case when it comes to Google Stadia. I think this case has been won for two months now. Case closed. Moving on. Now all we need is a bunch of games. That's it. Case closed. Cheers. See you guys. Take care.